Hey, what's up YouTube? Double Watch Josh coming at you guys today with my 44th vacuum sealing video. And we're just gonna keep going with this American Eagle 9mm 115 grain FMJ, which I showed you in the previous two. And so to begin, we're gonna need to take some measurements, of course. So actually, let's start with this one. This is actually from the previous video. When you look at the uh, top of the vacuum sealed bag, you'll notice that we need about four inches here. And then we're gonna need about an inch of bag on the bottom. And then when we look at the actual box itself, you'll notice that you'll need about 2.7 inches across the top here and about 1.4 inches across the side here. And when you add all those up, you'll get about 9.1 inches, which I'm rounding down to about nine inches. And so that's how much we're gonna need to cut out of our roll up top here. So let's go ahead and get her done. We need about nine inches out of here. All right, that looks about good. Let's cut it out. Huh, I don't think it caught it. Yeah, it didn't catch it. Um, you know what, let me try flipping the bag around. Maybe that was my issue. Get some traction on that. That way, like the bag curls up and underneath the bar, if that makes sense. All right, let's try to get about nine inches going. All right, that looks good. Let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. Delta catch. All right, and so we need to seal off one end of this bag, of course, so our machine's already on. We're gonna need to press seal. We see the red light of death, of course, and so we just need to go ahead and feed it inside and let the machine seal off one end of the bag. Well, it's kind of like a sleeve. It's about to become a bag if you want to be technical about it. Okay, and it just released it. And as you guys can see, it's good even seal. All right, and we need to wait 20 seconds for the machine to cool down. So it's 6, 17, 19 or so. And while the machine's cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and get a sticky note ready with today's date on it. So today is the 18th of December, 2017. So let's go ahead and uh, take our sticky note and there's today's date on it and we're going to put it somewhere on the box that's not covering up important information so probably along the back side here and the barcode is missing because i'm using that for the rebate the american eagle rebate i've got some other videos on if you guys are interested in knowing more all right so let's go ahead and take our bag and then let's go ahead and drop the box of ammo right inside the bag here just like that and I'm gonna try, you know what, I think I just got a good idea. Let's try to get these holes. I'm gonna try to flip this around and get one side of the this bag is like really coarse and seems like tougher and the other side of the bag is a little bit more like flimsy. So I'm gonna try to put the hole towards the flimsy end. Maybe that will get like, you know, suck out more air out of that end. I don't know if I'm making sense or if I'm just rambling. But anyway, let's check our time before we insert it. So it's been, uh, yeah, at least 20 seconds, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and feed it inside. I'm going to pull the uh, bag nice and hot, as close to the box of ammo as possible while I feed it in here. All right, and it just released it. And there you guys have it. The 44th box of vacuum sealed ammo. And let's see if I can get this on camera. You can definitely see it. Definitely remove some air out of this thing. Yeah, pretty happy with the results on this one. All right, guys. Well, as always, thanks for watching, subscribing, and have a great night.